It is a very important message for those who would like to learn a lesson. And that is, my brothers and sisters, if you do not have people who dislike you with a passion in your life, then perhaps there's something wrong with you as a person. So it is always a sign of genuineness when some people love you, some people perhaps like you, some people maybe don't know you, that's the majority obviously, and some people dislike you and some dislike you with a passion. That's a healthy mix showing that you're a really, really uh, unique human being who is absolutely, uh, you know, beautiful. Because if you have people who love you only and if you really think everyone must love you, then you've got a problem. They don't all need to love you. Not everyone needs to like you. Not everyone needs to think highly of you. You must have chunks of people who don't think anything of you, who think the wrong thing of you, who think bad of you, some who even hate you. That's when you're normal or that's when, when I say unique, I mean you're unique in the sense that you've understood the plan of the Almighty. Where I get this from? Question. I get it from the lives of the messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You and I know that all of these prophets that the Almighty sent over time, they have had their fair share of, or should I say a large chunk of uh, people actually hated them, disliked them, uh, fought them, worked against them. And then you had a growing number of people who interacted with them, who were touched by their message, who believed they were really good. So when you have people who hate you, dislike you, really don't want to have anything to do with you, don't stress. It's normal. Don't stress at all. You carry on doing what you have to. The test is yours. Do you become ugly because people who are acting in an ugly way to you or do you maintain yourself? And do you continue staying on that ground? And do you continue being the person you always were? If you changed because others were bad, by becoming bad, then you failed your test. But if you understood that it's okay, not everyone needs to like me. People can hate me, so what? People can say bad comments about me, so what? It says more about them than it does about us. Just remember that. That's my lesson that I'd like for myself to be reminded of and for every one of us, not only to be reminded of, but even to learn from. May Allah grant us ease. May Allah grant us uh, uh, goodness. You know, uh, it's amazing how we meet people and we interact with people whom we may think we have very little in common with, but we get along so well with. Uh, it's, it's all part of the Almighty's plan where we're meant to be interacting with each other in order to get to know one another. If you go back to the verse of the Quran, where Allah says, we created you differently, different tribes, groups, you know, uh, colors, races, etc., etc., in order that you become acquainted with one another, you get to know one another. If you understand that, you will definitely understand that it's good to know people. It's good to meet people, different types of people, different races, different religions, different thinking, different. It's good to meet, to interact, to be able to learn, to be able to teach, to be able to exchange ideas, for people to be able to see how you live and for you to see how they live, to be able to uh, uh, give da'wah to the people, to be able uh, to see the goodness that others have in them. Not everyone is bad. Remember that. And even those who seem to be bad to you, they have some goodness in them. The problem is we're too impatient to search for that particular goodness. Remember this. It's a very powerful message. I want to go back and tell you. Don't be a person who has to have everyone loving them. Otherwise, they're depressed. Everyone needs to think highly of me. Otherwise, I'm sad. Everyone needs to you know, care for me. No, there will be people who don't like you for no reason. There will be people who don't like you because of a misunderstanding. don't want to have anything to do with you just because of your face. It's them, it's not us. I hope that's a good enough message for us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all. Keep on doing good and keep on reaching out to people in the best possible way. Remember the messengers, like I said, they did not give up. They kept on doing good and today we're, we're actually eating from the fruit that has grown uh, upon the trees that they have uh, sown the seeds of. Amazing, amazing.